Well, good morning, Stealth Lake family and friends. Happy Blessed Thursday. As we're making our way through this week of May, let's uh, look today at Proverbs 10. And I'd like us to look at verses 19 to 21, again, in the message version. A very um, simple, practical, and unusual uh, proverb uh, that we're reading today. It says this, the more talk, the less truth. The wise measure their words. The speech of a good person is worth waiting for. The blabber of the wicked is worthless. The talk of a good person is rich fare for many, but chatterboxes die of an empty heart. So Proverbs puts great importance throughout on what we say, the words that we speak. The words of the wise, it's often called. But we see here in Proverbs 10, more talk, blabber, chatterboxing <laughs> leads, what does it say? To an empty heart for us. But the words of the wise, rather than empty, it says here, are worth waiting for. What a great thought. They are, it says, rich fare for many. In other words, they minister something, they give something, they always, the words of the wise, minister and invest something in other people. And the key phrase here, I think, is this first phrase, the more talk, the less truth. The wise measure their words. Our words are not to be uh, primarily expressions of our own opinions or emotions, but instruments of God's truth. People today, perhaps more than ever in our lifetime, need to hear from God. We all do. We need direction and hope that comes from the light of truth. Truth that can lead us out of the deception and the confusion of our present culture. And it's Proverbs that instructs us that the simple words that we speak, the words that you and I will speak today, greatly affect not only our own hearts, but they also greatly impact the people that we encounter every single day, including today. So today, South Lake family and friends, let's be conscious of measuring our words. Rather than more talk, less truth, let's be known for less talk and more truth. And in doing so, may the God of truth use us today may fill our hearts, and may we impact the hearts of many. Lord, today we commit our day, our way to you, and our words to you. Thank you, Lord, for this simple reminder from Proverbs today of the importance of our words. Let us be among the words, the, the wise, and may we communicate the words of the wise, Lord, in your name. Thank you for providing, for protecting, and directing us, our families, our church family, and... Uh, and thank you, Lord, for what you'll do in and through us today. Um, we give you praise, and may we live in praise. May the fruit of our lips give thanks to your name today. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen with me, will you? Well, amen. God bless. Have a great day. I'll look forward to talking to you in the morning.